Hello, hello, welcome. My name is Kate. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I am so glad you're here. And um, oh, I guess I, I just want to show you guys this. <laughs> My little niece made me a congratulations on a thousand followers. So thank you guys for making that happen. They're awesome. I love. I love being an auntie. It's like my absolute favorite thing. And I thought that was so cute. She just gave it to me this afternoon. So tonight we are, I said, hello. Thank you all. Oh, birthdays. Thank you. Um, we're narrowing down the birthdays. You know what is going to be a little confusing? There was a note or a comment that um, D-Bag's birthday, she might be a Virgo. That is going to be confusing because I don't know what that means, but what that might mean is she might be a hermit, which also does not explain our queen of swords, but I'm not worried about that yet because it's not confirmed. Um, I think I have everyone's birthday. Thank you. I, as soon as we got off, I just Googled BK and BK squared. Oh, did you guys hear that recording? Curious, hmm? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Put my collar up for that one. All right, so, um, I have been, all right, so we still don't know Dirty Sanchez, Dirty Sanchez's sidekick, or whoever it goes. The questions. So we're just going to start at the top and run down them. And if I didn't answer them in the like tonight, then just let me know and I'll put them on the list for next round. Uh, the very first question was, is D bag a Virgo? Someone thought that her birthday was recently. And I must say, as someone who is a professional stalker, and I mean like stalker, not like I can find things. No, I guess I haven't looked that hard, but someone else is helping look for it. So thank you. Okay. The first question that we have is, all right, actually, I feel like I need to tell you guys this part. So this is not like serious, but someone asked me a question today. And so I thought it would be a good thing to um, go over as a group. If you don't know it. Oh, and I just also want to say like, your opinions about witchcraft, Christianity, like, please. The only thing I really don't care anymore about is, like, the delinquent or degenerate. It's, like, on the same level. I have no wit bandwidth for, like, political, I mean, or that, too. Or religious arguments, I just don't have time, and I don't want to hear it. And I, and I don't want to hear anyone bashing other people's religious beliefs. Like, I literally will just delete them and block you. And I, I already did it today. So I just wanted to set that stage because fear has no place here. And fear is what drives feelings like superiority and all that. I'm not into that stuff at all. So I just wanted to set that really clear. Um, I mean, your opinions are all fine and I know you have to listen to mine and I apologize, but there's a place for it and the YouTube talking, that's not it. So we are, oh, that came up because I will talk to you about setting sacred space just in case, actually, I'll just do it right now. So first thing you should do this twice a day. Well, I highly, this is a high recommendation. Um, when you wake up and before you go to sleep, because at dream time, we can go into this at a different time. That's like fifth grade. And right now we're starting at kindergarten. So, or if everyone gets what I'm talking about, then we'll go straight. But if not, we'll build the foundation. So in the morning and at night, just imagine yourself underneath a white light, like a shower. And just imagine the white light showering you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Um, I've also like pretend those, you know, those balls that like people get in, just pretend you have a ball and you can like bounce in it all around you. 
Um, so you want the white light, the armor of protection. That's a little bit longer, but basically what you want to do is call back all of your energy from people, places, things, dimensions, times, and entities. Call back all of your energy, wash in white light, and then return all of the energy that you have accumulated throughout the day or throughout the night um, from all people, places, time, dimensions, lifetimes. That's not usually the order I go in, but what you want to do is realize that you're bigger than your body. And for example, dream time is a place that you do most of the work. Let's just put it that way. So that was someone asked me about that today. Um, and I thought it would be a good thing to just explain to everyone. So in the morning, I always, well, apparently doing it. I go through phases. So in the morning, um, put on the white light from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. If you don't ask your angels for protection, then they can't help you. It's free will. So if you have any help without asking, that might not be of the whitest light because white light has to be invited. It's like into your house. You have to invite people in. Like, so it's a very similar concept. Um, and so you just want to make sure that you're only inviting the highest and whitest light. If that's your jam. If it's not your jam, you're probably not here. So that's okay. Um, and then at night, protect your soul, like your body. If anyone's done um, this, what is it? The gateway experience or the, the gateway stuff. I highly recommend that. It's like a 39 or 36 day daily meditation practice. If you want to learn how to like astro project and stuff, the CIA will literally, they trained on um, Robert Monroe's program. It's awesome. So you want to put on the white light from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet every morning, Re call back all of your energy that has been spent across people, places, times, and dimensions, and return all the energy that you've collected from people, places, time, and dimensions, washed in white light, morning and night. Um, especially if you're feeling like drained or think if you're thinking about an ex and it's really over, no matter what, just every time you think about him or her, just like think that you forgive them. Because like I was talking about last night, in order to progress, you have to let go of the heavy stuff. Drop the rock. Uh, you have to let go of the heavy stuff so you can make room for new. So I hope that helps. All right, let's get to this. So the first question that we had was, there was a woman, I found this very peculiar. She was found dead six miles from King Road. Okay, there is nothing above board just from reading like three things. Her name was Catherine Lynn Behan. She died in a car fire. I'm going to put this very loosely because the obituary said she died at home. The newspaper article said that it took them less than three minutes to put the fire out. So what does that tell you? Deductive reasoning tells us. And the thing that I thought that was very the most curious about this is in episode 12. Oh, thank you. If you're new, I am so glad you're here. Please start at the beginning. This will make absolutely no sense. Um, but in part 12, the one about Kaylee seeing Sharon Archer and reporting her, the thing that I thought was weird was Catherine Lynn is 66. Sharon Archer was 62. Okay. So I thought that was weird. Sharon Lynn, or I'm sorry, Sharon Archer had gotten in an accident and she couldn't, she didn't have long-term memory. Okay, so if you're a predator, that could be something. But Catherine Lynn Behan, Behan didn't have like anything that I could find that was like, I just think that it's highly suspicious that someone died in a car fire that took three minutes to put out. And I'm not even a firefighter. I'm here to cop. So, like, I don't know. That just seems weird to me. 
And if anyone knows any more about it, I don't even know what to read on. Oh, I guess what we could read on is, is there a connection? Well, all right, hold on. Okay, so what we want to know, maybe what I should do is start with something. What else, what do we want to know about her? Like, did they have something in common? What's their common thing? Then I guess what we'll look for is any of um, the regulars. If the regulars show up, then I'll say yes, that there was something in common. Oh, the other thing, and I know this annoys some people and I'm really sorry, but the other thing that I wanted to say is um, there was a question on here that I'm going to get to, but I'm going to skip it because I'm about to explain it. Um, one of the questions was about uh, our hermit and his girlfriend flipping, like um, what was their motive or why are they flipping or something? We answered that or I answered that yesterday in part 27. That's the, um, uh, what's it called? Resources. And it's like, by, I credited everyone. It's not my information. It just happened to be what I felt was the most accurate out of the sea of stuff. So in part 27, I answered that. And um, it's like right before we get into the Aryan Brotherhood gang drug cartel thing that just got busted. I also thought it was a little curious that her uncle's name is Jesse James. Like that's the most cliche American outlaw from like the, isn't that like the 1830s? He must be 1860s. Jesse James. He was like a bank robber. Hmm. So um, that one I just wanted to answer. All right. I get, so what we're going to do is we're going to ask about Catherine Lynn and Sharon Archer. Like, did they have anything in common? You know who we got who has something in common with Sharon Archer? Oh, okay. Uh, someone's mother. That might be in the headlines for all the wrong reasons. But I did get that um, Sharon Archer and she were related or connected. So I'm just going to flip and see what happens. If we get our regulars, then I'm going to say, yeah, they knew them. If not, I think it's curious about this car fire. Oh, and they're still investigating it. It was over a year ago. It happened in June of last year. Still investigating. They must not get, don't they have like stats they have to produce for the town or something like cl closed cases? Um, okay, so did Catherine and Sharon know each other? Oh, a card just showed. All right, well, okay. I didn't even get to cut this stick. I hope you guys can see this. All right, so we have the page of pentacles. What do our pages do? Pages are our messengers. What are pentacles? Pentacles are earth. Anything physical, so it'd be like a schedule, people, places, things, home, um, they're an earth sign. We have the king of swords. The answer is absolutely 150% yes, and we have death. I didn't, like I said, if you're watching on there, this might be a little confusing because I didn't even get to cut the deck. It literally jumped out and flipped open, so I don't really tell the card. I just go with it. Um, we have another page. Oh, and we have temperance. Okay. So if you're watching from up there, I am going to set this there. There's something about, uh, I hope you guys can see this. There's something about these two because of the way the deck fell. So I'm just respecting it. Everyone has a different way of reading. There's no right or wrong way. I mean, if someone tells you there's a right or wrong way, then no. Okay, so what we have, I mean, I, the answer is yes. We could go into this further, but there's really no need to. I mean, we know the answers to this. So we have two pages. 
um, in this context. So our pages were our runners. They were delivering messages. So what do these two women who are over the age of 60 with no record on, you know, where are they going to print it in an obituary? Some people do, but um, what this is telling me is that they knew too much. Perhaps they were messengers. I mean, allegedly, oh, I have one more thing. The um, organization has infiltrated like everything. There's a new movie that sounds creepy AF about this that I just saw on TikTok. And it was like really uncomfortable to even listen to. It's some kind of documentary. And if anyone's interested, I'll post it, post the link or whatever. But um, this is the celebration of the harvest. If you know, you know. Um, so, I mean, yeah, they were related or they were connected through their side hustle speaking. Okay. So I don't know what to say. Yeah, they definitely were connected to the King of Swords and then they found their death because they probably knew too much. And apparently people are disposable. And first of all, the easiest investigation, I mean, I don't work for the FBI, <laughs> but if I did, the first thing I would do is just pick any day out of the year, run the newspaper and see how many, in uh, what is it? investigation pending, under investigation. I picked one day and I found two. And I was just looking for this one lady. So what are you doing a year and a half later? I think that's a slam dunk. All right, so yeah, they knew each other. Um, the thing I cannot figure out, and if anyone knows, why over, what are women over 60 that are, uh, Maybe not, maybe, I don't know, drug addicts. I don't know. And it's really not my place to say. That's the only thing I could think of, but I don't know what women over 60 are doing for this organization other than, oh, talking or, I don't know, delivering the message. Um, the pizza guy came out and, well, this, uh, and allegedly, oh, this is all allegedly entertainment purposes only, no facts here. I'm just a chip, some tarot cards. Um, didn't deliver any pizza to 1122 King Queen Road. So that's out for our um, pizza box, which I already didn't believe anyway, but. Um, the next question is also another uncomfortable one. I don't know if this is like going around or what, but the question is, and I mean this with all due respect, and if you're this woman, then please just pause it. Um, who is Xana's real mom? The question is Kara, she's all over like the pictures that's, or Christy? I couldn't find Christy, so I couldn't see her. And so I felt like, if you can just give me a little more information, I will be more than happy. <laughs> I will look into it, but I couldn't find anything. Um, Okay, the next one, another parent one. The next one is about E-Dog, our friend. And I don't have warm and fuzzies about his mom. Definitely not. I saw a few things with her and them speaking to various organizations or whatever. I don't like anything that I've seen. I also saw something that he has a brother named Eric who has been actively shutting things down around the World Wide Web. And I just think that might be a little curious. I don't know anything about it, but I do remember right when we, when I figured out number 15 that he was betrayed by the douchebag. Oh, nope, that's a different nickname. <laughs> There's so many good ones. Um, by the, deter what was his name? The delinquent or something. That um, he, so I don't have a warm and fuzzy 
about that and it's that's awkward because I the dad gave me like a pretty calming vibe like I I felt like he was really hurting I don't feel the same about the other one so I guess what we should do I hope you guys can see these if you can because I might have to switch decks in a second Actually, I'm just going to switch decks now because I feel like it's game time. This question is, is some for some reason really awkward, too. I'm going to start with S-Dog. I'll call her S-Dog, okay? Well, Ethan's parents' names are Jim and Stacy. I'm going to call her S-Dog because I feel like we're about to figure out something that is not going to put her in a favorable light. I don't have a good feeling about her. At all. And if, and I know there are other people that also have a little bit, of, and I'm just saying, like, we'll just start it off with her. All right. Well, for you guys watching, these cards just jumped. Hmm. 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 Wands. 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 So we have two wands, a pentacle, and a cup. They're not new cards, but they're not our big dogs. So just a second. Let the space now. Allegedly, she's been going um, up to the school. Well, you're not going to even believe what's next. We have the tower. I hope you guys can see this. This might be a crying night. Actually, hold on. I have to like. Okay. So. <laughs> what I'm looking at here. Is our nine of swords. This is can't sleep, staying up at night, super stressed. Um, people are seeing between the lines. We have our Knight of Swords. One of these came out in reverse, if you're watching, but it didn't feel right to lay it down that way. So um, we have the Knight of Swords. And we have the Tower. So I might have to pause you. I'm like about to start crying. Um, all right, so what we asked was about We asked about the mom, Ethan's mom, and we got front row. We got the card that's represented every single one of like the decision makers, and we have the tower, and that's like an ending. Oh, you know who's not here is E Dog. Um, I'd be curious if she's a fire sign. 
The reason I'm saying that, if you're watching, is because we have four wands right here. So, oh, we have the star. Ah, oh, this is not good for um, Little Miss. What, does anyone know where she was the night that this happened? And I'm not joking. We, I saw something that it was like parents weekend, the weekend before. The cards that are under this, El Diablo is like three cards away. So I'd be interested to see if she's a wand or a fire sign. This card has, ah, uh, here, sorry. This card has represented our, um, this has been an internet card for me. Like just on this case, and usually it's not, <clears throat> Well, it's, I've never read it that way before, but it was um, Cups Are Your Emotions, and we have four, so this is a foundational card. This little guy is like out in the field, meditating, getting some alone time. But there's a little cloud right here bringing him a cup, and that's somehow connected that the girls were being watched from inside their house. The next card that we have is the Eight of Wands. This is like, Fire, like going in, this is an action card. This is like preparing for battle, going into battle. Um, we got this the night that we saw this stuff happening. We have the five of pentacles, and this one was in reverse. This is, well, they're out in the cold. Here, I'll show it like this. Um, they're out in the cold. The fives are usually like um, a chaotic card. Like for some reason, number fives, in the tarot are chaos. Um, the five of the pentacles in re or is like also unexpected financial like loss. Oh boy. Okay, I have more questions. Who set up this Ethan Chapin Scholarship. Like, could this possibly be a... A, a money laundering thing? And I'm asking because they're, they've fallen on financial hard times. I have no idea what their financial statuses or was. I don't even know them. I looked at a picture. And then we have this two of wands. This guy is like traveling. He's getting ready to go. He's um, looking out, but the way he fell is he's looking towards the past. Maybe pondering his horrible decisions that led to the tower. So I'm reading this. This is our bottom row and this is our top. And if I know it's annoying if you really are a stickler about numbers, but I just stop it when it feels right. So then we have, okay, but let me explain the way this looks. Someone is paying attention, like spying. There's some kind of spying on the internet. Something's going on. Then we have like an action movement, like we are preparing for battle. Then we have a financial loss. They're out in the cold, they're homeless. I mean, you can take this however you want, but it looks homeless to me. Pentacles are in reverse. Five, it's financial loss. Then we have this little guy looking out. He's looking towards the past. And then we have the tower. Actually, I'm going to read them like this. Then we have sleepless nights. People are seeing between the lines, stressed out. He's staying up at night. There's weirdly red that I've never noticed on this card before. He doesn't have a pillow either. Well, maybe he does, but the point is, is he's stressed out and he can't sleep. We have Frat Row going in. All right, what are the parents' connections to Frat Row? Because this is like pretty clear to me that she's watching them from home. What? I don't know. This is all allegedly for entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research or if you have any answers to these helicopter parent to the next level questions, please let me know. Um, I don't know. Like, 
I don't know. If someone, oh, you can't check. If she's a wand, like a um, fire. So that would be Scorpio. Oh, I'm sorry. No, if she's a wand, so she's fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Wait a second. The strength card is that Leo is a Leo. Sag. I don't think we have any Sagittarius or Aries yet. But Leo is the strength card. I mean, the strength card is a Leo. I don't know. Here's another wand. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, you guys. Hold on. It's this. It's a story of the night. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, here's our pregnancy. Here, uh, here's El Diablo, death. All right. Well. Well, 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 well. I don't like what I'm looking at here. If you're watching from up there, this is going to be a tiny bit confusing because I was about to come up. So then these, um, these are all wands. I'm keeping them together because I'm just, it feels right. And then I'm going to explain these. All right. So what I'm looking at here, this is not good. This is definitely not good. We have... Our little page. Oh, we have a full. All right. So what we are looking at, we have our little page. He was delivering the messages and he's a fast page. He's the fastest. Then we have our foundation, happy home. All of them have that fake happy. And then this is like pondering, reaping the rewards for your hard work. This has been notoriously our cowboy. He's um, an expert in the field. He knows exactly what he's doing. Like if it's a plumber, he's like an expert at his, like a doctor, plumber, you name it. Um, guess what? Oh wait, I don't need to hold on to our page because we're about to, oh, the ultimate heartbreak. No free will-ish or or it could be the other thing that we just learned yesterday. <laughs> Stabbed in the back, overkill. Because someone's equipment was too tiny. I'd like to see, like, did they even bring this, that Dirty Sanchez in? Like, I don't remember even hearing his name. Not that I was uh, caught up on it by any means, but I would be very curious about how he passed anything. Um, we have the King of Swords. Hmm. We know these, we know the characters that are coming in. Now we have another page. This page is running in. We have our party. I'm telling you. I don't know. I don't know. So, I don't know. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, oh, wait a second. Oh, okay, now our regulars. Here's our thief. Here's death. Here's our grief card. Here's judgment. And the emperor. Yeah. Hands down, she works for the dark side. I'm just going to call them the dark side because they are. And we're going to get a little more clarity on her because I am feeling very much. Whew. I saw a question about the, um, the time I got the chills and I saw that tower card. I was watching it again for some reason. And you know what's funny about that? I think we nailed the time. Like, within a minute because I wasn't even using that deck. I must have just looked down there in the box, but I looked down and the tower was right there. I don't remember. I thought I was using the Rider weight, but yeah, that was a great catch. Good job on that one. Oh boy. So what can we call this one? Jeez, man. She looked as involved as her degenerate son. I mean, and 
the other one. This is like, oh, I have chills. I might light some on incense or uh, sage because I'm feeling like this energy isn't exactly fun. Oh, that was really hard. To, that was a hard reading. You know what's hard too about that is like, depending on this woman's, well, I mean, okay, we're gonna get some sage going. Um, so if she's a micro, she's definitely a micromanager. And I'm only saying that because she's watching what's happening at the house on the internet. I think like, I don't know. I don't have any feelings that are good about this right now. So if they're all micromanagers, I'm just going to say that too, because that solves a lot of these. But if she's such a micromanager or what if, wait a second, what if D-Bag is the hermit and she is the lion? Like, I want to pause you just so I can check and see when her birthday is, because if she is Aries, Leo, or Sag, then this is going to be a game changer. Um, I wonder if I should, so, okay, the question I was about to say, or the thing, was that if, Ethan was struggling his freshman year, like Mr. S Dirty Sanchez. If we can think of good nicknames like Dirty Sanchez for all of these people, please, let's do it. So, okay, everyone's surprised that Ethan didn't do well. I also am not buying that either. And I want to see some transcripts, but the University of Idaho, we haven't even gotten to them yet. But okay, so he's in a fraternity. Like in my experience, I wasn't in Greek life, but I had a similar life, except way better, just kind of more intense. Um, I had two hours of practice in the morning. I had weight, then class, then weightlifting, then study hall every day for like the, for the years that I was doing it. Like if I wasn't doing well, then it wouldn't take a whole semester for anyone to figure it out. That's why I, I'm I'm a little nervous or not nervous. I'm I don't know if I'm buying the story that Ethan didn't do well his freshman year, and the reason I'm not buying it at this exact moment is he has a lot of micromanagers around him. The house is a full blown micromanage thing. His mom is a micromanager, so you have two. One of them's an entity, one of them's a human. What if she's like the empress or something? All right. Um, well, I have to check my emotions at the door. I'm like highly, highly pissed right now. Card that jumped. And if you think this is a rest and relaxation card, that's fine. I see it as a death card and it's a little boy laying on a coffin. I was just asking Ethan to show me what we need to know about this woman and this little card just jumped out. So, I mean, I don't know how we could make it any clearer. We have the Knight of Pentacles. This was in reverse. I'm just going to show it to you guys because I don't know. We have Ethan and I mean, if we have Ethan and Ethan, we have the card that has represented him and we have a little boy dead or in my opinion, he's dead on a coffin. If this was upright, this was in reverse for me. I would say she was doing it for the pentacles. 
Maybe she lost pentacles. This is fleet. Oh, you know what? This is fleeting. Um, what number is this? Seven? I can't remember if it was upright or not, but. Well, you never want cups in reverse. So if this was in reverse, that would be like an addiction card, fleeting, um, let go of the past or like read the fine print if you're signing a contract. If it's upright, it's still fleeting. This is like a momentary thing. What we need to do is figure out her connection to this house. There's a really eerie picture. Well, I didn't feel like it was eerie until right now. That Ethan's sitting in that trash hole, the Sigma Chi house, and they're at like a dinner. There's like a clear dinner. And the way the picture is taken is Ethan's smiling and you can see 1122. Oh, that's actually good to know for this, but you can see the house. In the background, it's a little fuzzy. And like, I'm curious how much, like, what if one of these parents, oh great, oh great, was like, I mean, we did get a lot of questions to look into a lot of these kids' parents, but I mean, we just got this card. We have a, our dead little boy, RIP. We have our little boy. I'm going to clear the energy. You guys. These cards just jumped. Overkill and front row. I don't like this. All right, so. What connection did this trash have to the house? What connection? Hold on, I didn't even cut it yet, and I'll explain this. I just had a mic drop, almost. So we have an Ace of Pentacles. This, oh, and our little boy. This is signing contracts. Remember the night that he showed us, can you see this? Can, that he showed us that um, they were signing the contracts behind his back, like he showed us the party, and then this is like, an ace of pentacles is like always brand, something new, always new. Aces are always a new beginning. To me, this is a contract. So the question I just directly asked was what does this trash have to do with the house? We got, like, are they funders for this house? I'm not seeing a ton of money at all on here. But what I am seeing is a lot of directing. I mean, pretty much if we put them in this order, we have the kids going, or whoever, going in way overkill. And then a little boy laying and he's not resting. But if that's the way you see it, that's fine. I might, who am I to tell you? I don't care how you read, I don't care how you read the cards. But what I am telling you is that she was balls deep in this too. 
And I don't even know where to look. Oh, okay. So then we have the King of Swords. We have every, okay, wait, hold on. Oh gosh. So this has notoriously been, um, what's her name? D-Bag? Is that what I was calling her? The Queen of Swords and her like previous boyfriend have shown up like this. Yeah, he's making a comeback. He's coming like four days in a row, so I'll give it to him, whatever. Oh, the star. Okay, so swords. Swords are air. Do we have any air people? So Libras. Um, thank you all so much for sending those birthdays over. Okay, so we have Libra, Aquarius. I don't know. Oh, Aquarius, that's our, what is she called? The, she's the queen of swords, the bag. She's an Aquarian. Who's, oh, Gemini. Gemini are the girls. And Libra. We don't have any Libras. I'm actually surprised. Oh, uh, BK squared. Hmm. Hmm. That is curious to me. Who is this woman's family? Like, does she come from family? Does she come from a connection? Like, if I Google that someone's related to the prosecutor, then like, I'm gonna call the FBI myself. Just kidding. I'm not calling anyone, don't worry. Don't worry, FBI, I'm not calling you. Um, Oh, I mean, we have our little, I mean, we have, she put the star out. Mm. Then we have the King of Swords, the couple. We have a grief card. I had hardly call this grief. Who did we see Bethany had grief? Wasn't it Bethany? Oh, we need her birthday too. Um... This is like preparing for battle. Oh, the King of Pentacles. All right. Who's this woman's dad? Or like brother? Like who? And I swear to God, if she's related to anyone in law enforcement or anyone in the prosecutor's office, like this corruption is beyond. We can't even use the word. I feel like corruption is too nice of a word. If she does. And the reason I'm asking is because we have the King of Pentacles. We have two kings here. Ready to go. Was his dad in the fraternity? Like, this is like lineage. I'm I'm seeing I'm reading this as lineage, but on the mom's side. I don't know how that's all because I asked about her. Here's our little page of cups, mm, telling all the secrets. I don't know. Here's our oh, here's our baby. Oh. Okay, so then we have our, this is the, she's like a good worker. Here's our baby making machine. We have two aces. Those are two new beginnings. Like how many generations of people have been going through this like trash hole? And I'm seeing this as like generational delusion. And I mean that like, I'm not really seeing any, I'm not seeing any mental health cards. What I'm seeing is it's like this woman's, Brother, dad, like she's connected to someone high in something of, of not the white light. Oh, here's our, oh, here, oh, great. Oh, okay. Little Missy didn't, oh, in the moon. Oh, damn. Okay, hold on, I gotta slow this down. So what we have here is the BJ princess. She's your editor. die. You want her always. I have referred to her as the BJ queen because I was <laughs> making fun of this one. What is the, okay, so the connections, I need, I have a whiteboard. Oh, it's right behind me. What we need to figure out are Bethany, Maisie, Maisie's mother, and D bag. So 
What the? Bethany? Maisie. Maisie's mother. And D-Bag all have in common. Like, what's their common thing? Oh, maybe that'll give me the answer to what D-Bag, Hunter, the delinquent, Jack S and Quinn's dad all have in common. Maybe it's the same connection. Okay, so Jack, and it, I looked at a picture of um, Maddie's, that's on this, oh wait, okay, Jack S, Quinn's dad, delinquent, and D-bag. Well, I'll tell you right now what these two lists have in common is D-bag. And if you don't know who that is, that's the queen of swords. Please, if you have any questions after you've watched the series, I'm gonna, we're in season two. If you have any questions before you've watched, after you've watched it, I'd be more than happy to answer. But if it's questions like that can be answered very quickly, then I'm sorry. But we have to figure this stuff out because so we have. Was it Jack S? Jack S. Jack Showwater? All right, let's see what Jack Showwater story is. I feel like I need a binder. Oh. All right, let's see here. I know I have Showwater. Okay, I can move this over here. All right, so Jack S. So I did see Jake S. I don't have any feelings on him yet. We have too many Jake, Jacks, but Jack. I thought he was kind of, I wrote hot, but I would give him a, he went to South Africa. He, oh, um, what's her name? Divine. And she's not on my list, but she also did the Tylee, uh, the Daybell Kids mediumship investigation. It was awesome and I highly recommend it. Allegedly, she's the one who, at, who got this bread machine cut and he has someone's related to the AG. I think it's like his uncle. All right, so that's fine. So, I mean, perhaps with these kid people, these are not kids, these are... This is like one of those things, when you look back in history, you wanna be on the right side of history. Just really on mental health. Um, so I don't know, but the next, the next thing that, and thank you so much for your help, and I really would like, I don't know. So we need Bethany. All right, so what we do know, why don't we answer what we do know? We know that, oh, uh, she's a Scorpio. So Matt Maisie is a Scorpio. Her mom is up for debate, but I'm guessing fire. D-bag may be our Virgo. I'm just going to put a, that's, to me, is not as, and Bethany. We have to figure out her birthday. And then Jack Showwater, I can probably Google that. Quinn's dad and Hunter, that's another Scorpio. I don't know. That was a tough reading, and I'm going to pull these cards and, like, hopefully we have something a little less, um, Devastating. Oh, that was hard to read. That sucked. The next question doesn't sound like it's going to be any easier. 
Um, the next question is, were either of the girls knocked up? And I didn't read on it last time because I wanted to focus on E-Dog, but now it feels like it's okay. So, well, this poor kid. So in the course of like two hours, I'm guessing, based on the, um, audio that I was listening to last night. So I put him by midnight. Like, I think I said he was definitely by midnight because no one had eyes on him. And then someone said that the mom, oh, it's this mom. Oh. I have to send her love and light, like, directly from myself because I'm not feeling love and light right now. Um, I also am not feeling black magic, just so everyone knows. Um, that could also just be because I also have protection. And so I'm not going to run I'm not going to be a knight of swords and run in and check it out. But this mom, I'm pretty sure it was this mom, said that the two o'clock was the witching hour. Hmm. You don't say, lady. So in like the course, we'll give it four hours. He figured out, E-Dog, figured out that his brother betrayed him, his sister, be oh, his sister betrayed him and his, oh, that must have been very devastating. The things that happened to his body, like, I mean, we have the Ten of Swords. We know it was an overkill by far. But the things that happened, like, I feel like the shocking... Yeah, that was all shocking. But I feel like it was this this betrayal. Like, now, the Three of Swords could even be the mom. It might not even be Ethan anymore. It might be... Delinquent, delinquent too, and senior delinquent. I don't even know what to call them. I, and I'm not getting really any mental health cards, which is a little concerning. At least if we were getting like deeply troubled, I don't know. So I guess what we're gonna do now, another light one. Um, I'm gonna do, oh, uh, I feel like, uh, I don't know. I guess we're, I'll do this one and then this might be it for ten. Oh, we're already at an hour. Oh, we're good. Okay, so I'm just gonna ask if Maddie was pregnant. Was Maddie pregnant? We're gonna do upright yes reversals now. Was Maddie pregnant? All right, hold on. All these cards just jumped. I'm gonna put them back in. All right. Was Maddie pregnant? We're gonna do upright yes reversals now. Out of five. So is Maddie pregnant? These cards are definitely ready. No, no, yes, no, yes. Okay. So technically this is a no. What I'm not loving is that... Was she dating anyone? Oh, guys. A new search warrant was just out of file. Where the... I have to read this straight from my notes. So it's a sealed, it's like a mystery search warrant. <sighs> anyway, it was sealed and before Judge Judge, if you know, you know about that one, um, the woman before him s signed it so it would stay sealed. So word on the street is that maybe the the secret OnlyFans account that we definitely picked up, remember? Um, I don't know. So the answer, I don't know. I'm going to do two out of three on this one because the cards that did show, I don't like them. Actually, I feel like I need to stop this right now. I'm like, I need to walk away or something. I think I'm like... 
All right. We'll do Maddie. Were, Maddie, were you pregnant? Yes, 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 yes. And the emperor showed up. All right, so that's two. So we have one, so this will be our tiebreaker. I might, I might cut this and do these again when I'm like, I don't know. All right, so Maddie, were you pregnant? No, yes, no, no, yes. I'm gonna confirm that, yes. The answer to that is yes. I don't know if she could feel it though. I'm not feeling like soul baby or um I don't know if she knew that she was yet. We can ask her. I wanted to use the C word right now about that woman. Um, so let's see if Maddie knew about this. I, I don't know. The good news is we just got El Diablo in reverse. The good news is this is like your chains are broken, you're set free, you're like, if you had an addiction or have or whatever, you're free. I, I don't know. I'm saying, I don't know if the baby was old enough that she knew yet. Well, she couldn't have known. She's way too responsible. I feel like she's like so anal, or I didn't know her, obviously, and I haven't even really looked into her, but I just feel like her, was it Kaylee that came back? Oh, it was Kaylee's personality. I don't know, now we get, now let's do Kaylee. So the answer to Maddie is yes. Uh, and I'm going to say that, that she didn't know. So take that for what you will. Um, I'm going to write that down somewhere. So Maddie, yeah. Another light reading of the Chapin nightmare. Maddie Craig's. But I don't know. I mean, we can certainly... I might do her read of, well, I, should, I need to read on it now. I want to, but um, let's ask if Kaylee. Is Kaylee for you? Pregnant. Is Kaylee Okay, no, no, yes, no, yes. It's a soft no. I mean, it's a no, but it's a soft one. The thing that's weird though is like, was this some kind of like incestual weird thing? Because we have little Ethan laying on his coffin. We have D-Bag and her ex or boyfriend. I don't know where they are today. We have our Knight of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups and we have Strength. Strength might be the... What's that lion in the Lion King, the mean one that with the black? 
That's what I want to call her this because if she's our Leo, I mean, your strength, if this is the mom, that's going to be a huge bummer. Well, I don't know if she could possibly um, disappoint anyone any more than she already has. So that was a no for Kaylee round one. We'll do two more. Jeez, these cards are ready to go. No, yes, no, 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 thank God. And guess who showed up? This is like. So that's two no's. So Maddie, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Kaylee, no. Maddie, yes. But I also want to say that I don't think that Maddie knew. So that was a late night, light, like relaxing. No, it was not. So we have Kaylee, no, not yes. All right, let's do an in conclusion so we can wrap this up. So thank you all for coming. That was really heavy. Um, in conclusion, we have outstanding questions. Number one, when is Stacy Chapin's birthday. Number two, we need to also figure out Bethany, Jack D, wait, Jack S, Quinn's dad, his birthday, and what their connection is. Um, we did ask the pregnancy question. We got a no for Kaylee and a yes for Maddie, but it was very, very early, and I don't think that she knew. Um, we asked the question about the women over 60 mysteriously dying in really random places, like the cars on fire. I don't know. That's that, I don't know what that is yet. Um, that's as far as we got. And I'm feeling good about it. Maybe, I don't know. So that's how I feel about this. I'm like highly disturbed. Because just in that four hours, like every betrayal that you could possibly imagine happened to him. Except his dad may not be bad. I'm not getting any vibe about his dad. At all. Mom, balls deep. And I mean like generationally. I don't know what her parents do. I don't know what her brother does, but I'm about to Google it because this is like generational and it's like, I'm not buying that Ethan did bad in school. I feel like, I don't know why it would get made up, but like this woman was all over them, like helicopter mom, psycho stuff. Like this isn't, this isn't even helicopter mom. This is like full blown spying. I think she was watching, and I don't mean just like their location. I mean like, what if she, I don't know, but that's where we are right now. So thank you all for coming. I will upload this and hopefully you guys can see if you like it, we can keep doing it. I don't love it though. So if you don't like it, that's good for me because um, like right now I'd really like to Google this woman and see what her jam is, but I'll stop this and upload it now. And then I will send so much love and light to the Chapin home, like so much love and light. Cause like my resentment and anger just like feeds it. So I have to send love and light so I can like bring out the best in everyone. And Oh, can't hide in the darkness. So if everyone can send love and light, all you have to do is just imagine a white light of like radiant 
all over the town and definitely the Chapin home. Definitely the Chapin home. Um, that'd be awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming. That was fun. Just kidding. I feel like I need a box of tissues and like my bank ear, or that's like, I'm looking at haunting. You know what I mean? Like a blankie, like something to like protect me. All right. I love you all very much. Thank you for coming.